Exodus chapter 14 from verse 11. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, has thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore has thou dealt with us thus? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. For the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Most of the time, we find ourselves in difficult situations. Sometimes they come shortly after victory. Sometimes you see that when one victory is won, another opposition comes. And in the heat of the moment, a lot of people cave in. And they begin to say things that they ought not to say. And they begin to do things that they ought not to do. And in that moment, there could be trouble. You may want to know that all the people that were involved in this activity, in this world that they said, they all died before going into the promised land. It's not because God wanted it that way. It's because they said the wrong things about themselves. I want you to know, you must refuse every form of slavery. You must refuse every form of servitude. It is never acceptable. Slavery is not good. A slave has no lifespan. Now, these things have happened, probably still happening, but they are not the will of God for people. And not the will of God for us. We read in Psalm 100, it is he that made us and not we ourselves. He never made us to be slaves. He was of wood and drawers of water. We are not conquered in war. I said earlier, I am glad about who God made me. But I know that the one that made me made me like the psalmist said, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God made me handsome. God invested in me. He doesn't see me as one dirty thing. He doesn't see me as rejected. But when I became a believer, all things passed away. All things have become new. The scripture says, I am seated in heavenly places with Christ, far above principalities and powers. That is true of you. You are seated in heavenly places. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Don't allow your mind bring you to tribute. Don't allow your mouth destroy your destiny. Never give in to any man or any woman who wants to bring you into slavery and bring you into servitude and bring you into tribute. 